What is going on out there, YouTube? John the Laser Blue Junkie coming back at you again. And I'm happy to report that we are finally doing a proper Laserdisc update video. Yes, finally got a bunch of Laserdiscs in. Going to finally let you guys see what I got. Uh, unfortunately, no local pickups, no Craigslist stuff, no half price books. This was strictly Laserdisc Forever members. Uh, the first people we're going to kick it off with are Alex and Katie Goodrich from Cincinnati, Ohio. This time I finally got it right. Um, unfortunately, those guys decided to sell off all of their Laserdisc collection, you know, for reasons that are not going to be stated here in this video. They had a good reason to sell it off, and they let all the members of the Lasers Forever uh, page get first crack at them. And I struck pretty hard, and I struck pretty early, so first thing I ended up getting was the widescreen Laserdisc of Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke, one of my all-time favorite comedy flicks. Been wanting to get this one on Laserdisc for a while. Wish it would come out on Blu-ray, but beggars can't be choosers. Uh, also finally got Rocket Man. Been wanting to get this one on Laserdisc for a while. I still have the original Disney DVD, but really good to have this on Laserdisc, especially because I can finally crank out the AC3 5.1 track. So, uh, One movie that I have been after for a very, very long time and it was only ever released on Laserdisc, still has not been released on DVD anywhere. Finally got a copy of Airborne, been wanting to check this one out again for years because, let me tell you, growing up in the 90s, if you had HBO, this movie was consistently on HBO almost every freaking day, and I watched it several times, I recorded it on VHS, and it's just a great cheesy movie, you know, a young Seth Green's in it, so, but it's a funny movie, Jack Black's in it too, so, but I really, really enjoy Airborne, finally glad to own that one on home video, so I can finally watch it, because I haven't seen it in at least 20 years, so, gonna be fun to revisit that. Uh, one thing, another thing, these uh, last couple of ones, I've been really, really happy that, you know, that I got them, um... This one, been after this one for a while, too. The Lost Boys. This is the AC3 uh, edition. You know, the transfer's really good, but the AC3 soundtrack is really, really great. I thumped it last weekend, and, man, it's uh, it's really, really good. The surrounds aren't there, like, on a modern mix, because I think this was shot in stereo, and it was, like, repurposed for 5.1, but it does sound really good, nonetheless. But I don't think it was, like, meant for a 5.1 mix, but I could be wrong. You never know. Uh, ended up getting uh, these next three from them. I got a Rocky 3. Now, this is the Japanese Laserdisc. Unfortunately, I well, there was some miscommunication between me and them. I thought I was getting the uh, the one with the black border on it, the digital sound version of Rocky 3, but apparently this is what I ended up getting instead. But, hey, it's cool. It's an extra Japanese Laserdisc for the collection. So And Rocky 3 is still a good movie, so I'll probably keep this one. When I get my digital sound, I'll probably just frame this in the background, so have something cool to have. Uh, also got... Rocky V, not the greatest sequel, pretty much the worst one, but uh, I have a, I have fond memories of Rocky V. My, uh, like I said, you guys know my father, he passed away a few months ago, but uh, I remember when I was, I want to say eight years old, when this came out, we actually saw this, uh, me, my mom, and my dad all went to go see this at the movie theater, so it was a pretty good experience. And lastly, you know, you saw Rocky V, you saw Rocky III, well, the one thing that I had to get from them, this was not advertised in their sale he was holding back on it but i had to i don't want to say i had to finagle it off of him but i asked him i said hey i remember you got this one movie and if you still have it for if you have it for sale i'll be more than happy to take it off you and he sold it to me because he was ch alex was chasing this one for a long long while and yeah got the letterbox ac3 edition of the original rocky this one, me and him have been after this one for a while. I let him have it. I saw it popped up on Laserdisc database, but I said, you know what, man? You go, you go for it. This is the one movie you've been wanting forever. I'm not going to take that away from you. And then when he decided to sell his collection, you know, he said, you know what, John? I'm glad it's you that's taken it because you'll at least appreciate it just as much as I would. Just sucks I have to get rid of it. But So uh, if you guys are watching, yes, I'm going to give it a really good home. I do plan on watching it probably tomorrow. So I'm waiting for my friend to come over, so we're going to watch it. So those guys right away. Thanks again, Alex and Katie. Sorry you guys got out of the game, but... You know, but thanks for giving me some good deals and thanks for, you know, helping me build my collection and getting some stuff I've been chasing out of the way. Uh, next and last person we got up, my main man, Moiky, or Moik, as he likes to be called, Moik Baud, who had, uh, everyone knows about this story, but I'll fill you in uh, if none of you have heard it. 
This lucky SOB came into a massive, massive, massive Laserdisc collection, and he at least was nice enough to let like 80% of it go to all of us Lasers Forever members, and I had to jump on a few things myself. I mean, most of the stuff that he was selling was stuff I really didn't want, and most of the stuff I wanted he kept, but... I do like my old, old, old horror movies, the stuff from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and luckily for me, that's the stuff he doesn't like, so of course I had to hop on a bunch of these. I did miss a few because I procrastinated a little bit, but uh, I did get some good ones nonetheless. We'll start off with uh, Tumalagia. Now, I've never, most of these movies I've never seen, but like I said, I love the old stuff, so especially these old, you know, British Edgar Allan Poe stuff. I, I love it. So uh, I got to check that out. I uh, wanted to get this one too. This one looked really cool. The Angry Red Planet and Journey to the Seventh Planet. Again, old schlocky sci-fi. So I'm I'm down. I'm game. Uh, next one, more Edgar Allan Poe stuff. Got Pit in the Pendulum and Fall of the House of Usher. Both widescreen remastered. Both really cool. Uh, next one, got... Premature Burial and Tales of Terror. Tales of Terror, I really want to check out because Freddie Francis, I believe, did that. I'm double checking to make sure. It says, yeah. No, you know what? Tales of Terror, no, that was Roger Corman. Richard Matheson did the screenplay. So, even better. Freddie, I, hey, I like Freddie Francis, but this is even better. So, yeah, definitely got to check out Tales of Terror. I haven't seen that one yet, but that one's going to be pretty good. So, uh, got some Hammer stuff. This, uh, actually, the one thing he did end up doing was he, um, inadvertently, help me knock out all like the rest of my universal horror stuff because i've been after like all the universal horror stuff like down to the old monster movies but then the stuff that came out later on like the old sci-fi movies and stuff like that and most of them i had but i was missing like like a couple of select titles but luckily he had them and he didn't want them uh this one is it, even though it's universal it's still hammer horror nightmare and kiss of the vampire so I'm glad I got this one because that actually knocks out the Hammer stuff that was on Universal because I got all the Hammer stuff that ever came out on Universal. And then finally got these two. Been wanting to check these out for a long while. We got Island of Lost Souls and Murders on the Rue Morgue. Island of Lost Souls was the original idea for Island of Dr. Moreau. And this one, it just it just sounds like a great movie. It's like about a killer monkey, killer ape. But this was one of the last ones that I needed to complete it. And of course, the other one that I've been wanting to check out the Incredible Shrinking Man finally got that one. So, yeah, Moik, thanks a lot. You got my uh, my universal, all my universal stuff knocked out. So that made me very, very happy. Uh, one box set that I was chasing for a little while, but it was always a little pricey. But he finally got it and gave it to me for a good price. United Artists Sci-Fi Matinee Volume 2. I do have Volume 1, but I really wanted this for the Quatermass Experiment because I really, really like that movie. This movie I have seen, and I like it a lot. So glad I have that one. There would be a... Uh, a second box set in there, but due to some non mcletchard confusion and some piss poor communication, uh, it ended up going to somebody else. It was the uh, United the United Artists Horror Classics Volume Two. So, but the situation's been taken care of. Everything's been rectified. He's sending me something really cool in the mail in the next couple of days. So, for the next video, I'll show you what else he sent me. But uh, last but not least, from Mike, this one had to hop on this one because none of this stuff has ever come out on DVD. And I'm a big MGM cartoon buff. Happy Harmonies, man. Been in, I've been wanting to get this sucker for a while. None of these cartoons have ever come out on DVD. This is all like the uh, Rudolph Icing stuff that that they did during the MGM period. You know, this uh, most of the stuff predates Tom and Jerry. But yeah, a, a lot of these cartoons I did see on TNT and TBS back in the day. And like I said, none of this stuff ever came out on DVD due to some... It was either rights or it had something to do with some racial overtones, you know, but I haven't seen these cartoons in ages and I'm just so happy to have these back. This set actually goes for a nice chunk of change. No, Nowhere near Looney Tunes volume five chunk of change, but this, this set does go for a pretty penny. So I'm glad I finally have that one. So unfortunately, that's it for the laser discs, but... Gonna have to do a minor Blu-ray update to do that, and a DVD update as well, because I got a couple of new things. Uh, we'll start off with a Walmart exclusive Blu-ray that currently, again, you can only get it on Walmart.com and in Walmart stores, so check online if your store has it. Brewster's Millions, yes. Great, great movie. Dude, Walter Hill's only comedy, and if before you say, oh, 48 Hours is a comedy or another 48 Hours comedy, no, it's action comedy. There's a big, big difference between the two. Straight comedy movie. Richard Pryor, John Candy, 
funny, funny freaking movie. Completely, horribly, horribly underrated. But glad to have this one on Blu-ray. Been uh, never thought this movie would ever come out. But you know what? Surprisingly enough, Universal didn't screw this one up. Little short review for you. The transfer looks really good. The sound is really good. No digital noise reduction, no edge enhancement. Looks very, very organic. So really, really good flick. So for a budget release, very glad. Uh, one thing that I don't know if a lot of you guys uh, know about, but um, a lot of the old Paramount stuff is uh, going out of print. Uh, due to some of the, a lot of movies, now a lot of you may know about the deal, this happened in 2013, for three years uh, Warner Brothers uh, and Paramount partnered up and Warner Brothers was releasing a lot of uh, Paramount's back catalog. But now that the deal has expired and they have not decided to renew it, all of the stuff that Warner released through the Paramount label is going out of print. So one movie I procrastinated the hell on and I wish I would have picked it up when I had the chance to get it dirt cheap uh, was Death Wish. And yes, I did get it, but you'll notice this, uh, this French writing on here. Now, I don't speak French one lick of it, but this is the Canadian Blu-ray of Death Wish. Now, that really doesn't matter. It's just the artwork, because if you pop, pop it open, the disc, I'll move it around here for a little bit, sorry. The disc is exactly the same as the American version. It's just the cover itself has, has French on it, because it was done in Canada, French territories. But I think I got this for like 13 bucks shipped. And all the collectors want to go after the American one because it doesn't have the French. I say I don't care. If I can get the movie cheap and, it, and it's bilingual packaging, sign me up. Because if this is my best way to get it cheap, I'm going for it. And while I got that, I finally decided I was going to quit being lazy. And I finally picked up Death Wish 2. Now, this is the uncut edition of Death Wish 2. Uh, this has, uh, on the two rape scenes, there is more added to it. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but what I will tell you is good about this is the exclusive commentary track from uh, Paul Talbot, who is like, he wrote a book about Bronson doing the Death Wish movies, and he does like a great, great trivia commentary track. It's really, really cool, so check this one out. And the re and what I also picked up, that same exact seller, was uh, he was selling a bunch of other stuff, but I finally picked up uh, Chuck Norris Invasion USA, my favorite hands down, like my favorite Chuck Norris movie is Code of Silence. This is my favorite, second favorite Chuck Norris movie, so glad to finally have this one on Blu-ray. Haven't checked it out yet, but I know I will. And lastly, this is going to sound pretty screwed up, but uh, my buddy Kevin, Kevin Michael Stewart, I've talked about him a little bit. Uh, he went to, yesterday, he went to a local mom and pop, like, game store slash uh, store that sells DVDs, Blu-rays, all this stuff, and they sell nothing but used stuff, but then he sends me a picture, he says, dude, look what I just found. And I'm like, oh my god, you found a bootleg of Blood Beach. That is like the most amazing thing ever. Because like, this is a movie that I never got a chance to see. Because we did have it at the video store that I used to go to all the time. But it was one of those movies I never rented. And I kind of lament that now. Because like, this movie's never come out on DVD. Uh, only ever came out on VHS. I don't think it ever had a Laserdisc release. Or a CED release. Or even a VHD release. So I have no idea. But when uh, he found this bootleg, I'm just like, dude, you got to make me a copy. And this is a copy. Like, he scanned the artwork and he made me a copy of the disc, so it's really cool. For a bootleg, though, it's not that bad. It actually, it doesn't even look like it's VHS quality. Someone cleaned it up really good, so the source was really, really nice. So I'm really glad I finally have Blood Beach. I tried watching it last night, but I passed out. I was so damn tired. So, But anyway, that is, the, that is it for the update. Now, last thing that I want to do... Um, if any of you guys saw the last video I did last week, my Donnie Darko uh, review, I did talk about doing a contest. Well, that contest is still going to happen. We are going to do the preliminaries right now. This contest is going to be called the Race to 200. As it stands, I am a little over 180 subscribers, but I want to try to get to 200. So here's what we're going to do. The second I hit 200 subscribers, I will be doing a contest to where you can win two laser discs out of my collection that I have just double copies of, but I'd rather, instead of hock them off someplace, I would rather give them to one of my followers or one of my subscribers so they can enjoy these movies that I enjoyed for so long. So, like I said, tell your friends about my channel, do what you gotta do, you know, get them out there. I wanna try to get to 200 subscribers and I will reward any of you guys who decides to get me to 200. So, having said that, Hopefully next weekend, no, next weekend we are not shooting another video. Next weekend is 
me going out for a well well rested Saturday night that I've been needing for a long time. So I'm gonna take a little break for a week and I'll be back at you in two weeks, possibly with another Blu-ray review. But until that time comes, guys, take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And as always, keep it spinning. Talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.